a second, like the Wilsonians. Amen. Thank God for them. Uh, and our, our pastor revived us on the first night. Uh, he preached about prayer. He said, prayer changes things. Amen. Amen. And last night he preached about uh, a renewed mind in Jesus. But I remember the first night. Prayer changes things. Because somebody suggested that if his choir was not here, that he and I would have to sing a duet. And I took that thing to the Lord in prayer. And I see that his choir is here tonight. And so that change is, has already taken place. We're looking for no duet for Pastor Whitfield and myself. And I'm just so grateful that God is still hearing and answering yeah. prayers and prayers are still changing things. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Now, most of you have been here every night. And so we have the same person here that I introduced on Monday night. Uh, the same person I introduced on last night. Yep. He is still the pastor of the Fellowship Mission Baptist Church. Yeah. He is still a good friend of mine. Yeah. He still is still preaching the gospel. Yeah. He is still saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, yeah. And I'm still saying, hear ye him. Hear ye him. Yeah. Yeah. Hear ye him. Amen. In case you don't know who he is, he is you. Amen. And so at this time, since sheep respond to the voice of their shepherds, I'm going to ask him to come and tell his choir just what he wants them to do. Because they will not listen to my voice.
God's grace. He looked beyond all my faults and saw my needs. Can I get a witness? Bye. 
Bible says, love covers a what? A multitude. Amen. We've all sinned at one time. You don't have to look around. Amen. The Bible says in Romans 3 23 says, We have all what? Sinned and come short. Jesus has given us a commandment, a mandate. Christians ought to love one another. Amen. And sometimes even in the church we have problems loving one another. Is it all right if I preach a little while? Amen. I, can tell I, want yes, I might get run over out there on the Nick here. <laughs> Somebody might run me off the road. Amen. My brothers and sisters, everywhere you turn, you hear people talking about and saying, I'm looking for a real love. The real love is Jesus. He's real. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He never changed. You know some of us change so much. We don't even know ourselves. Some are looking for a real love in a man. Amen. If you don't bring love, you won't get love. Am I right? Amen. Amen. Sometimes people spend more time planning for the wedding than they do the man. I know I'm right about it. Amen. Amen. Spend all that money. Some are looking for, amen, a real love in a relationship. Yeah. Amen. You've got to have love to give love. Amen. Love is important. John's gospel regarding, amen, Jesus' exhortation to his disciples and to us. John wrote to the world, didn't he? Mm -hmm. About Jesus being the Son of God. John's gospel. John, John had an intimate relationship. Everywhere Jesus went, he took Peter, John, and James. Better known as the inner son. My beloved disciple, John. Jesus talked about love. John talked about love. He, he used love some 56 times in that, in that book. He used it 12 times from chapter 1 and 12. Love is important. How do you know that, Pastor? In the first Corinthians chapter 13, you'll find love. It's called the love chapter. Yes, yes. Amen. If you want to know about love, just read that. Yes, the last verse in, this, in that 13th chapter, 13th verse says, Now there's faith, hope, and charity, but the grace of these is charity. That's King James. If you have an NIV Bible, it might even say love. There's no greater love than Jesus' love. Can I get a witness? Love. Here we find he gives them a new commandment. I give unto you, amen, that you love one another. You know, folks watch us, don't they? They, they watch us out of fellowship. I know they do everywhere I go. You're the new pastor of fellowship. I said, how do you know that? I know I've been watching you. Man, you're from Benton Harbor, aren't you? I said, yes, I am. Well, you don't talk like you're from Benton Harbor. You don't look. I said, I'm from Benton Harbor. Trust me. And then I start calling off a few names, and they said, wait a minute. You called off my whole family. I said, I told you I'm from but love is important. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Amen. This is what Jesus is saying. He gave a mandate. He gave a commandment to his disciples to love one another. A direct, amen, exhortation.
exhortation to believers to show the same thing for one another. Amen. The Bible in Galatians 6 and 10 says, As we therefore have opportunity, let us do good unto all men, but especially to those of the household of faith. Yes, yes. We ought to treat one another specially.
to the Edwards house and watch TV there. Amen. And they would put me out at a certain hour, but I'd go back over there. I felt like one of the family.
But see, my father loved me enough where he would chastise me. Put the fear of God in me. Kept me out of jail. Kept me out of prison. Kept me on the street.
you ought to show some love. See, I don't mind showing love. Anyone that knows me knows I don't mind showing love. I love everyone. Even the good, the bad, and the ugly. I just, I'm a people person. Because if it wasn't for people, if it wasn't for someone that loved me years ago when I was a little boy, where would I be today? Man, I'm talking to you young folks. These older people love you. They might be antiquated and outdated and old school as you say. They love you. That's why they're trying to tell you something that's going to happen. And if we love one another, we don't mind helping one another. Amen. 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 Love is about showing yes. how you really feel. Yes. Amen. 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 What, what wife in here, what husband in here wouldn't want their husband or wife to show them some love? Amen. It's not enough to say, I love you, honey, but show me something. Put some of those dead presidents, some of those, what are they, Benjamins? Is that what you call them? <laughs> Benjamin. Put some Benjamins. Hey Amen. She's smiling. Put some Benjamins in my hand. That's love. All we need is love, church. We need more love for one another. This is what the Bible is saying. God loves everyone. Amen. Amen. Say amen. amen. And he wants us to love one another in spite of. This is what Jesus is saying here. In this 13th chapter, verses 34 and 35, that you also love one another. And verse 35 says, by, by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, and ye have love. We, we are his disciples. What is a disciple? It's a follower and a learner of Jesus Christ. Man. Notice I didn't say apostles. Because see, the disciples got promoted to apostles when Jesus sent them out. Some of us are still on the learning curve. Amen. And so we're his learners. We're his followers. And I tell people this all the time. In order to be a good leader, you must first learn how to be what? Thank you. And everybody can lead.
who passed away and Reverend Gavin's called me and said, Sister Nance wants you on the program for her funeral service. Love is important. And we in the church ought to learn how to love more and show This is what Jesus is saying here. All we need is love. If we love one another and if we love God, then the church will be a better place. The world will be a better place. Can I get a witness? That's why it says in John, 1 John chapter 3, verse 14, it says, and I pass from death to life. Because I love the brother. Yes, yes. Some of us have not passed from death to life. We haven't left the world. All there is in the world, in the world is heartache, trouble, and pain. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the light of the world. Oh, yes, yes. Jesus is a way maker. Yes, thank you. Jesus bread of life. Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. He is the author and the finisher of our life. Jesus told us to love one another. Yes. I stopped by to tell you tonight that all the church needs is love Yes, Ecclesiastes 3 and 8 says there's a time for love. The time is now. Church, we need to straighten up and get right. Get right so we can go home. We need to love one another more. First John 3 and 1 says what? 